Everything that you expected from Sean McVay and Jared Goff was non-existent. And I felt bad for the Rams in this sense. Cooper Cup was missed. Big time. This is, a, this is a, a, a standout receiver for the Los Angeles Rams who went down with the ACL injury a few weeks before the season ended. If he were out there, I think the Rams would have had a better chance. I certainly don't think they would have gotten held to three points. I truly don't believe that. I think they would have found a way. Jared Goff would have had more weapons to throw the ball to. And I think that's undeniable. So Jared Goff definitely going against Bill Belichick and Brian Flores. Shorthanded, I might add. You got to look at that and say, you know something? He didn't have much of a chance. But I still got to look to Sean McVay because I got to believe if you're boy genius, if you're the 33-year-old guru that everybody's loving and you're hiring coaches all over the place looking for the embodiment, the reincarnation of Sean McVay, you got to give me more than three points in a Super Bowl. You just got to do it. You just got to do it. If Sean McVay had lost this Super Bowl 24 to 21 or 21 to 17 or 20 to 17 or something like that, I'm not having this conversation about Sean McVay, who, by the way, I love as a coach. He's a hell of a coach. But we're not having this conversation if Sean McVay and the Rams managed to put up 17 points, even though they were averaging 32.9. We're not doing that. Because we understand who they were going against. And we understand things are not going to be ideal. And we understand that Bill Belichick is going to make you play left-handed, per se, and take away your primary, your top two primary weapons. We know this about Bill Belichick. We know this about the New England Patriots. We know this about their defense. We get it. But three points? Three? Three? I mean, when I think about three points, when I think about the number three, I think about Bernie Mac. Three minutes. That's all I'm giving you. That's all I got. Now, obviously, he wasn't talking about football. You'd have to go see Kings of Comedy to recognize what I'm talking about. Date back to 2000 to revisit the hilarious comedy of the one and only Bernie Mac. God rest his wonderful soul. But when I think about that number, that's what I think about three. Three minutes. And you remember when Bernie Mac said, that's all I'm giving you, that's all I got. I'm looking at Sean McVay, that's all you gave me? That's all you got? You couldn't come up with a game plan that could manufacture more than three minutes? You couldn't do that? That's where the problem's going to lie. Jared Goff's going to take some heat because he looked like a deer in headlights. He looked like a petrified puppy out there that was too small for the moment in question. That's how he looked. And I'm not saying that's false, because I don't think that would be a false narrative. But I do think it's important to point out that even though it wouldn't be be a false narrative, let's not put more of the onus on him than we're putting on Sean McVay. You knew who you were going up against. And Sean McVay, to his credit, sat up there and said it. He got thoroughly outcoached because he couldn't come up What a solution to the the wizardry of a Bill Belichick and Brian Flores. That is the simple fact of the matter. You got to come up with something better. Do you realize, ladies and gentlemen, that if the Rams had simply managed one touchdown, particularly in the third quarter, in the first three quarters, one touchdown, Do you realize how much more difficult that would have been for the New England Patriots? Do you realize how that would have inspired and galvanized that defense even more instead of exhausting them and leaving them relatively resigned to the fate that they ultimately incurred? Listen, here's the bottom line. Aaron Donald didn't get a sack and Dominican Sue didn't get a sack or whatever the case may be. The Patriots weren't running rough shot over anybody. Sonny Michelle averaged more than four yards a carry. They ran the ball effectively enough, but in the same breath, they weren't knocking anybody's socks off. Wade Phillips did a, a phenomenal job coaching this defense. And Sean McVay made it very, very clear from day one that him being the head coach, McVay was, I mean, he said Wade Phillips is going to be that guy coaching your defense. And he showed up. The New England Patriots, led by Tom Brady, with Rob Gronkowski and Julian Edelman in the lineup, 
The New England Patriots didn't score but three points for damn near the first 48, 49 minutes of the game. Think about that. And you still lost this game? You still lost this game? That's what you got to look at. So I look at Donald and these guys, I don't blame them. I'm not looking at just numbers in terms of sacks or whatever the case may be. I'm looking at the fact that they held the New England Patriots to three points for the first three quarters, three plus quarters, and your offense couldn't do anything. They kept having to come back on the field, come back on the field, come back on the field. What the hell do you expect? At some point in time, it's just going to be too much to overcome. And that's exactly what happened. 